in the past few years, I motorbike tens of thousands of kilometers in many different countries around the world. But it's always been a dream of mine to motorbike all across Vietnam. So I flew to Ho Chi Minh, bought a really old Vietnamese bike and motorbike 3,500 kilometers in just 23 days. I experienced rainstorms, motorbike crashes, got super sick, explored caves, forests, mountains, and a lot more. But all in all, it was a wonderful trip that I will never forget. The Hai Van Pass, or the so-called Ocean Cloud Pass, is a 21-kilometer-long mountain pass in Vietnam. The twisting road on the pass has long been a challenge for drivers. It has even been the scene of two of Vietnam's most serious rail accidents, and at least one air crash. So apparently this is the highest point in the whole Hai Van Pass, and it's so touristy. There's literally dozens of minivans and and buses and cars and you know motorbikes parked around here Maybe I'll be here. 149 and after you go to in the farm in the you meet the hot mint I forgotten how it fell before the world fell In Vietnam, the roadside cafes are generally owned by some local families and the kids in those families were always very excited to see me and thus we'd be interacting the whole time. This place is simply breathtaking. It's just a random road uh, off the main road. Uh, can I get this? Communicating with the locals was often even more interesting than riding the bike. Four. Three, yes. Three. Okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. And apparently, they seem to be enjoying it as well, even though none of us understood what the others were saying. <laughs> Mang, mang, mang. Đây, vừa hay nói đây nước nước mang chẳng phải là nằm ngọc. This okay. Còn nên là họ lấy nước không mặn đấy. À à. in the hotel and veteran you change go walk in 20 meters okay oh that's the one this is the evening of the day number 11 i crossed this highland pass 
which is considered to be one of the best or one of the most beautiful mountain roads in all of Vietnam, and I just need to rest. And last evening, I met this American guy at the reception of my hotel, and it turns out he's doing pretty much the same thing as I do. Essentially, he's going from you know South Vietnam to North Vietnam. So we decided to drive together for at least a few days, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I just strap it. Yeah. If you want, you know. No. Nah. Oh, we can share also, it's big. Yeah. I think your water might become really hot very soon. Hey, how do you like the road so far? Oh, it's beautiful. But so far the hills are, are like not really that steep, you know? And we have a long way to go. Absolutely. I, I do think, I think it's like 250 kilometers, not, not like 100 and yeah. whatever. <laughs> This country is definitely one of the most beautiful out of all in Southeast Asia. I'm gonna hang out here for, uh, I don't know, 10-15 minutes and then continue my ride. Any comments? It speaks for itself. <laughs> Indeed it does. <laughs> On the road we met this guy called Johnny and he had so many problems with his bike that he had already bought a new engine. He obviously didn't want to drive alone since his bike could break at any time. It fell down? Yeah, it just fell down. I think it is overheated or something with my oil. You mean it turned off or it fell down? Just turned off. be driving for four or five hours today uh, it turned out it's more like eight but the road was indeed extremely beautiful so I met two guys on the road today and the three of us decided to rent a room together and we've also got a really kick-ass pool <laughs> the next morning we took a boat ride to the Phong Nha National Park which is also a famous UNESCO World Heritage site it is composed of 300 caves a recent survey brought the total discovered length of the cave system to about 126 kilometers, with many areas still not well explored. For me, it was one of the most spectacular things I had seen in Vietnam, for very apparent reasons. Then we decided to visit the Dar Cave, which is quite expensive and difficult to get to. But boy oh boy was it worth it. At first it felt normal, but after a while we entered this room filled with mud and that's where everyone went crazy.
Okay, whatever. Okay, put. 